Hello everyone, welcome back to Neil Kills Gaming. How's everyone doing? Today we are going to be going over more into Rust servers and your uh, individual server and more specifically how to get your server online so that way you can play with your friends on your own server. Now this will not be covering how to create your own server. If you would like that information there's another video. Go ahead and click on the um, annotation above in order to go to that video to figure out how to create your own server. This is going to be specifically how to get this online. So if you haven't made your server yet, go check out that video, create your server, and then come back here, watch this one on how to get it online. Now the first thing you need to do is you have to come over here to portforward.com. So as soon as you go there, we're going to go down here to routers and port forwarding guides. Then you're going to go through this long list of routers here until you find yours. Now my router is a Netgear router, so we're going to go in here. Now this is why it's so different for everyone, because everyone's going to see something a little bit different. But by coming here, it's going to give you a straightforward guide specifically for your router on how to get your ports open in order to put your server online. So here I have the Nighthawk X4S. So we're going to go in here. And here it's going to tell us step by step what we need to do in order to get our ports opened. So now we're going to come over here. Like it says, I have Netgear. So we go to routerlogin.net and then we come to advanced settings, then port forwarding, port triggering, make sure port forwarding is on always. And you're going to come down here to add custom service. Once this is up, you're going to put in a service name. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, you will select if it, you have both. Go ahead and select something that has both. Otherwise, you can set up two different ones, one TCP, one UDP, depending. You, you probably want both of them up there, though. Um, and here, you'll probably remember this number. This is our port number that we use. If you uh, used my video before to create your server, then you'll know that that is the number that you need. And uh, unless you changed it, hopefully you didn't because it's just easier to leave it on the default setting. If not, hopefully you know what you're doing with that and you know you set up the correct port. But um, for the default setting, that is what it's gonna be. You can Here you can either use five, six, it doesn't really matter what you use. Now here is a list of devices that you can use um, to connect your ports to. So to figure out your device's name for sure, you're going to come here to the control panel, system and security, system, and down here you can see your computer name. I'm going to end up changing mine after this, but just, uh, you know, <laughs> so all my information's not out there. But there you can see what the computer name is. We're going to close out of that. And then you select that computer name and you go ahead and add that. And then we already have this applied, so we're just going to hit canceled, but that's all you need to do there. And then you can see your external port um, set up here. Now that that is open, you are going to go to wherever you saved your Rust server the last time. Right here, we opened ours up. Going to go into our server. Now you can right click and hit edit on this. And that will bring this up. And here you can see that's our server port number. There's your name. You can put whatever you want in there and your server seed number that can be randomized also we just left ours on the default but um there you can change your name whatever you want it to be and then you're going to run your ds that is going to open up this here and once that's done running it can take a little bit of time then once that's done running you can come here and you'll be able to find your your server up and anybody can join it now you do need to leave uh this open the entire time for people to join and for you to be able to join because as soon as you close that your server is going to be offline but uh in order for you to use it that's all there is to it i mean it's real straightforward hopefully that cleared up a lot of questions for everybody if there's still any questions that anyone might have go ahead and leave them down in the comments below if you like this video go ahead and leave a like for me and hit that subscribe button it would be greatly appreciated if you have any other kind of um, questions or any other video ideas that you would want help with on anything, go ahead and leave me know in the comments below also. All right. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. And um, until next time, hope this helped. Thanks.